The building behind me may look like a palace and it indeed looks like one but this is the Jagirdar's block here at the Hyderabad Public School and these 33 steps are iconic. In students' words, these are the steps which lead to a library now, an Oxford style library but earlier this was a dining hall and these were the very steps that were perhaps took by taken by uh, Satya Nadella, you have Shantanu Narayan, you have so many different names, illustrious alumni of this school but the headline of this at the moment is Mr. Ajay Banga who is staring at history and who is also perhaps looking at leading the World Bank following a nomination from US President Joe Biden to give us more insight into not just about the school and what is so special about HPS but also a little more about into the lives of Mr. Ajay Banga. I am being joined by the Vice Principal of this school, Amrita Ma'am. Amrita Ma'am, thank you so much. Uh, always a pleasure having you with us and uh, congratulations to you, a big moment for you. As the principal, vice principal of the school? Yes, it is a wonderful moment. We are so proud to have one more feather in our cap, yeah. an alumnus who's doing well again on the global landscape. So yes, this is a telling comment on the story of HPS. So what I've learned is that he studied here from class 9 to 11, uh, 1975 uh, batch pass out. And I want to know um, about him a little more about whatever you can share Mr. Banga. Um, what we've heard, though, to be very honest, I haven't had the pleasure of uh, teaching Mr. Banga, yes. but what we've heard that one of the most successful houses of the house, uh, the school is divided vertically into four houses, yeah. and one of the most successful houses happens to be Nagarjuna. He happens to have belonged to that house. I was told that he was always soft spoken and had a definite view on leadership even in those days, and the son of a uh, defense officer always on the role about the concept of leadership mm. and how it is about celebrating diversity mm. and how it was about not a position or not a title but about doing good to as many as you can and uh, generally to understand leadership to be to have made a difference in the lives of people is what we know um, about him and uh, also that he was extremely humble and grounded Ma'am, I was uh, uh, hoping you could share the story that you just told me a short while ago about how a student from this very school joined MasterCard because he was so inspired by Mr. Banga. A little more on that. Yes. Uh, it's not about a one-off kind of a success. Year after year, uh, class after class, we do have these high-profile achievers. And when I mean high-profile, I don't mean that they come with an elitist mindset or background. The school is extremely proud that even before governments took it upon themselves to introduce this concept, the school has been very, very caring and supportive of the disadvantaged and the less privileged sections of society. So when we've trained some of these children to be high achievers, uh, we do quote and narrate these inspiring stories. And uh, one of our students uh, who went to IIT Roorkee mm. uh, passed out and there was this, um, yeah, this program that they have on the campus where you are taken up by good companies and there were about three good packages that he was offered and he chose MasterCard which was not the best package financially but he chose it so it was a natural corollary to ask him why he had chosen this package when he was offered better uh, packages so what he answered was that this is headed by an alumnus of HPS and that's the reason our school has always taught us to dream big that I think is what sets the school apart that besides grooming personality we also train children to dream big and make them believe that if you care to look at the stars you will definitely reach there absolutely and in that context I also want to bring your uh, bring to you another question you know as someone who's shaping and grooming the future of this country future of tomorrow I just want to know do you think that the landscape is perhaps changing because if mr. Banga leads the World Bank it will not only promote great diversity, equity, but also inclusiveness, something that 
uh, perhaps India was not very well known for a couple of years ago. But now, do you think that the na landscape is changing? That diversity, that identity that Mr. Banga is so fiercely protective about, about being a turbaned man. And for somebody who has, in fact, seen so many different chapters in US as well, I was watching his interviews where he said post 9-11, how it became very difficult for somebody hailing from the Sikh community uh, to sustain themselves, to create a niche for themselves. And having, you know, uh, waded through all of those obstacles. So just to leave out of that book, do you think that perhaps now the entire world is looking at India and, and, and re-emphasizing on the fact that despite being a developing country, the narrative is changing and the stereotypes are being broken? Yes, I am a firm believer that the geopolitical economic landscape of the world is changing and India, if not in the next five years, definitely in the next 10 is going to be where we are going to be referred to and looked up to as a world leader. Because I think this is the only country where along with a strong intellect, there is also an equal emphasis on the training of the heart. Uh, most countries do train the intellect, do train the body, but that importance that is given to the heart in this country is rare. And cultivating the heart developing that empathy and sensitivity and compassion for fellow human beings i think will be the norm of the future it's not what you know so much as how much you feel that's going to change the way the world looks at india tomorrow and your final words and a message uh, from the hps's side to mr banga long live hps carry on congratulations <laughs> we are so proud of you and uh, you are our pride and we are there always not only to support the cause of the school but to understand that you are an inspiring presence and you will continue to motivate so many of your young eagles both with the work you do and the way you conduct yourself on the world platform vice principal ma'am thank you so thank much you. for your time it's the exam season but for you to have come over and share such beautiful insights we are honored thank you thank you